Let's say that you want to make a lens. You know the focal length, uh, you know the material, so you know the refractive index of your lens, but you want to figure out uh, the radiuses of the refractive surfaces that you're going to use. Should your refractive surfaces be like this, thin, or should they have a greater radius, uh, ra radius of curvature? You don't know. Luckily, physics is here to help us, to help us all. And to, that is exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to derive a formula for a lens maker, which is called the lens maker's equation. The way that we're going to start our derivation is by considering a formula from one of the previous videos, which you can access from the cards right now, also from the descriptions part. That formula is for a thin lens, this is important, for a thin lens, we have 1 over A plus 1 over B uh, is equal to, let's see, N divided by N naught. This is the refractive index of the, uh, of the lens, and N naught is the refractive index of the medium that we are working with, minus 1 times 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2. In the derivation of this video, uh, in the derivation of this equation in uh, one of the previous videos, I mentioned the fact that some people put a negative here. I said this is about how we choose our uh, R1, R2 values. So please go ahead and watch that video if you are confused about the plus or the minus. Okay, it is important to follow the conventions and to know what we're doing. So how does this equation help us? Well, we need a focal length in our lens maker's equation. How can we get the focal length? Well, notice this. How do we def define focus? Well, one way to define it is it is the point that parallel line, uh, light beams. So we have a parallel light and it is going to come through our uh, lens, thin lens. If you have a parallel line, wherever it is going to be refracted, wherever it falls, we, that point we define as the low, uh, as the focus point. And that distance from the refracted surface to that point would be the focal length. So if we have a light beam that is uh, coming parallel, then we can get the focus length, focal length. But I mean, what does that mean? How can we translate this equation? Well, it means for parallel lights, so for para, parallel light beams, A is going to be approaching infinity, okay? What is an example of a parallel light? Well, for example, the light that is coming from the sun. It is at a great distance from the earth, so it is basically approaching infinity. The distance approaches infinity and we get parallel light beams. And if we substitute this, as you can notice, this first term, 1 over A, is going to go to 0. And as we just argued, in this case, B will go to F, the focal length. So we will get that 1 over F is equal to, and here we will make another substitution. In the lens maker's equation, we take N naught to be 1, and this is... Uh, basically the refractive index of air. It isn't exactly one, but it is very close to one. And for practical purposes, for simplicity, we often write n not is equal to one. And this is making the assumption that if you are a lens maker, you are probably designing a lens to be used uh, in, a, uh, in the air, basically. Okay? So we have n minus one because I substituted one for n not, and then I divide n by one, I get n. And then we have the rest as it was. 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2. And notice, we are done. Because if we have a desired focal length, and if we know the material that we're working with, so we know the refracted index n value, then we can choose the radiuses of curvature uh, accordingly so that we get the desired outcome. As I said, this is called the lens makers equation. So if you ever uh, start making lenses, you can think to physics. And in general, if you, if you never work with lenses in real life, I believe it is still 
good practice to know this equation. But anyways, this is it for this video. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.